All pro boy. What they yeah. gonna do, Allen? I'm gonna tell you what they gonna do. Detroit coming in here, hot talking about they gonna beat the Chiefs, right? And then when they get their ass kicked, it's gonna be well. We look, 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 literally look, no, didn't no, say that, bro. Say this. That's how be. Well, y'all was supposed to beat us. Y'all got Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid. That's what they don't do. That's what they do. That's literally been do. confident that like bl that, like blitzes or pass rush is gonna affect us because again we were very efficient on third down too. Let alone our you know good pass protection and Jared Goff doing well underneath blitzes. So I, I, is that what you guys meant? Like, are you guys like? For sure, thinking that you guys are gonna knock us out on three and out or something like that. Yeah, I mean, not at the time, but there's confidence there. I, I think what you guys need to understand, and we've been exactly where you are, so I don't mean this in disrespect. This is just a different level of football. Like you're talking to a to a fan base and talking about a team that has done this at the highest of levels, right? Like we've done this in the Super Bowl, we've done this in the AFC title game, and not just against quarterbacks like Jared Goff, who's very limited. But against Joe Burrow and against Jared Allen, you know, and against Jalen Hurts, and so like when we talk with this kind of confidence, yeah, we've also and I get it, you guys are, and we've gone toe to toe but, with the Eagles, and we've also gone toe to toe with the Bills, and we've also beat many playoff teams. Like it's not like, like I get the Chiefs are a great no disrespect, team, but, it's not but like you guys haven't even made the playoffs. The Lions never faced a good team before. You fa you faced them, but you haven't beat them enough, right? I, I'm talking about compounded years over years over years of success. Like we're talking Andy Reid who's 23 years in this. He's so, missed the playoffs twice. But alternative, what about the Bills, bro? They came good pretty quickly. They they or the Bengals or they, or the they, they 49ers. did. But the difference in those teams and the teams that I'm talking the team that I'm talking about is none of those teams have won a Super Bowl championship. You're talking about a two-time Super well, Bowl why champion. does that matter, though? That, why, rings, I don't know hey, rings matter. What are we talking about here? Why are you even... I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying that <laughs> rings... What are we no, doing? No, no, I'm not... I'm not saying it doesn't matter, my guy, but again, like... I mean, every year like, is, is that, you know, is at the end that, of the day, there's so much change and turnover every single year, and you add so many new players that, like, you can't always the, the past doesn't yeah. necessarily always dictate the future. But, 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 Every but, brand is. Andy, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. But but again, I'm not even arguing that. Like, are we just gonna just say, oh, he doesn't have a ring, you know, dub against that team? That team doesn't have a ring, dub. Like, I don't understand the argument here. The, the argument is that when you talk that, about he doesn't like, have a ring, ring, you know, we're gonna lose. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll respond. The argument is that when you talk about scheme or blitzing and things like that, will it work? I'm telling you it's worked at the highest level. And to the point of whoever just said, hey, year over year things change. You're talking about a Chiefs team that played the most rookies in the NFL last year. So a team that consistently is winning, but is also churning their roster and adding in youth and talent. Like this team that you're gonna play on Thursday, is more athletic, is faster on defense. You may not recognize the names, but these guys, their RAS scores jump off the charts. Like they are much they better. Same with the Lions. We also have had the highest RAS. Wait, wait, wait. Score Didn't you guys That's great. Lose but when you guys last talk to me about. When you, what was that? Didn't you guys lose against the Colts last year? Yeah, we did. So I, I guess I don't well, understand I, your I argument then. Then how they beat you then? Thanks. I mean, that's one, that, that's one game. We also won the Super Bowl. That's like, all. So that means you guys can lose, but that means that you're not uh, yeah, like, uh, uh, undefeated team. Anybody, right? No one. There's no one in Chiefs. If anybody in Chiefs Kingdom tells you they can't lose that game on Thursday, they're lying to you. Well, I'll turn turn it, I'll turn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. That's not what the sense I've been getting the last few days from you guys. Let me go you're, you're talking about a confident group, though, right? Like, no, I'll turn it to a confident fan base. Yeah, alternative. We're not trying to take away from what you got. You guys have been the best team for a while now. We're not trying to take away from your rings or your, your success or all your great players. We're just talking about the matchup on Thursday. So that's where where the disconnect is. Like, you, I think Chiefs fans think we're kind of overlooking their success, but we're not. We're just talking about this one singular matchup. Well, here's the thing, though, with that. It sounds like, like don't worry about the Super Bowl. That no, well, nobody ever said. Whoever said, that, bro, not you're the Kansas City Chiefs. Of course, we know about the Super Bowls. That's what we understand. What type of opponent we're going against? I so made when this we talk about like scheme and stuff like that. It seems like I, you kind of got discredited. No, no, like, no, no. We're not dis we're not discrediting the scheme, but scheme can only go so far when you have not so good talent sometimes. So I, I'll push back against that because last year with all those rookies. They played within the scheme. And while they are very talented, they're all athletic, there were rookies, there were, there were players drafted higher than them, better prospects, whatever. 
but they play within that scheme very well so well that they won a Super Bowl and so like I, I think like what you got to remember is this is not the same Chiefs team from 2019 2018 like they are replenishing every single year. all of that's facts we, we the did same the same the Lions, though. It's not the same Lions like team last, last year, year we last had like years. how many yeah like didn't we Andy didn't we have like six rookies start for us last year yeah, I mean, it's a similar story. We had just, we probably had just as many rookies starting, if maybe not more. I don't know. But we were it's not a similar story. There for sure. Well, but it's similar in concept. If you're talking it's about all. Oh, concept, right? But the story ends, your story ends in chapter three. The Chiefs story ends in chapter but two. But again, you're doing the rings thing. You're doing the championship thing. But we're not talking we about that. It. That's what it's all about, right? But like, it's that's week what, that's what one, it's bro. It's week one on a Thursday night football. Uh, it's not the conference championship game. Of course, but you need to compound wins, right? And I think that's where you all, that's what you're missing here, is that like last year, you all put up a lot of hollow stats, you beat some teams down Follow, the stretch, are you, not enough to win your You division. did not just say that, did you? No, I, I did not stats? enough to win, not enough to win your division. If you're going to want to, if yeah, you're going to want to win that division. Bro, we literally were and a top And we were five, five and one in our division, too. Right now? It just literally was the slow start. top five offense that doesn't make the playoffs is what, though? Like, uh, no, 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 bro. I'm, I'm like cutting it loose now. I'm cu- No, 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 shut up. You just said a top five fucking offense in the National Football League does not fucking matter. Are you kidding me right now? Who's the, In 10 years, who's going to talk about the 2022 Lions? Bro, it's a top five offense. When the fuck do we devaluate no, a top five cares. fucking offense? A top five offense. That then I can the say playoffs. you don't fucking ca- it, it, the fucking Chiefs don't matter. Doesn't make the playoffs. Then I can say the Chiefs don't fucking matter, bro. Are you kidding me? They're always top five in offense. <laughs> like a top five offense that doesn't make the playoffs. Like no one is but, gonna remember that. Bro, team. it's still a top five offense. You're doing That's the same great. shit to my top three old line, bro. That, That's great, but you're not gonna get yeah. a banner for a top five offense. I think what he's trying to say, it's a new season. I mean, everything's refreshed. Whatever happened last year, whatever happened two years ago, don't even matter. It's a new season. Let's see how the chips pop uh, up. No, 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 bro. No. That shit carries no, over. How the fu- bro, how I mean, do we you wanna, put you a top raise five banners, offense with raise bombs on our offense. fucking offense? And we got better on offense. Hey, the Chiefs had the number one offense in 2003. Guess what? We got our ass beat in the divisional round by Peyton. Well, bro, no they, one remembers that just that tells team. me you don't fucking respect us then. No one remembers Nah, that we team. shouldn't be saying that. I know nobody should be saying we don't respect Okay, Miami. okay. If you were respecting us, you would respect our top five offense from last year. That carries over, bro. I, re- I, we re- I respect your running game. I respect your O line. I don't, I don't respect your. Oh, here we fucking go. Here we fucking go. I mean, I, I don't. Bro, I did, you. did if you Jared Goff not have his best season underneath non Sean McVay, bro? Come on now. If you win this game on Thursday, it will be because Jared Goff played within the system. You ran the ball efficiently. Patrick turned it over. Cool, bro. And, I care about yeah, I mean, Dubs, just like your point. I care about Dubs. I, 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 I get that. I, if, if Jared Goff is playing within I, the I, system, I, why I, is that a bad thing? Bro, if Jared Goff goes like 15 touchdowns, 11 picks like Danny Dimes, and we go 13 and 11 or 13 and 4, so There's fucking more be than it. One way to win in the league, you don't you don't need a gunslinger quarterback to get to a Super Bowl. Like I don't understand the argument about oh that top five offense didn't matter. A top five offense doesn't matter from last year. Then, then, a top then, five then, offense you, that didn't make the playoffs. I think that's the, what, but, I'm, what but, you're missing here, bro. Like then what why? Does it matter? Then, Bro, then why the fuck did we hype up the Vikings last year, the fucking Eagles last year, all these fucking teams that, oh, look at this team, they're going to be good. Even though they missed the playoffs, they're going to go next year. Your team is in the NFC North. The, l- okay, l- 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 why does that fucking matter? L- if you're going to let people speak, man, you got to let people finish. Then don't fucking disrespect me and my fucking team then. Let's go back to 1998, 1999. Here we go. The, the Minnesota Vikings had a top offense. They got beat by the Falcons in the playoffs. Nobody talks about that offense now. Are you they- serious right now? That was one of the most historic offenses in the fucking history of the league. Nobody talks about it. Nobody. You don't hear nobody talking about. Yes, uh, they do. They talk about the greatness of Randy Moss and fucking Chris Carter. Are you kidding me right now? You have to win. No, you fucking don't. Dan Marino didn't win a goddamn fucking Super Bowl, and we still talk about his ass to this day. 
by the way, because he put up numbers. That's an individual. Stuff. Oh, but I thought it rings only fucking counted because last time I checked, Marino is ringless. You got to win. Your team oh, you has to win. Bro, did we not go nine and eight last year? A winning fucking season. You had a you had a decent you had a decent season. Take the step forward. A winning season. Here. A winning like, season. Take, take the step forward. But what I'm gonna tell you, because look, we've been there. Like you're talking to Chiefs fans. We ain't Bro, new to when this. Bro, we're new to this. No, no, you guys have been there, but y'all acting different now. Like you guys are. No, 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 no. We have not been there. This is a five year thing. Bro, I never do this to any opponent because they won rings or like, oh, you're not there yet. Language winners get remembered. In sport, what are you talking about? Oh, are, we Colin, are we going Colin Coward on this no, shit? Now? How, no, no, hold on, though. How, how did this go from when we're talking about the game on Thursday to talking about shit that happened last year or two years ago? Because we got in our feelings about the fifth ranked offense that didn't make the playoffs. That's why. No, but we don't that know. apparently no. means diddly dick in the national no, fucking football. It doesn't. League. You don't get banners for that. You don't. Okay, it's a top five offense and a we happy, go lucky offensive league does not get attention or respect. No. Are you kidding me? I'll tell you right now, the Chiefs have been there. We've had good offenses and didn't make the playoffs. And guess what? Nobody gave a fuck around the league. Nobody. Like, welcome to the club. Right, right? but it matters yeah. for Thursday's well, again, matchup. Why? And it gives us a huge We're advantage. talking about a Thursday yes, game. For, th like, for, th th for Thursday's game, it absolutely matters. It does. That's all but we're talking about. We never did. We never said the Chiefs. We never talked about the Chiefs' past. We're just talking about Thursday. It's like a Skip Bayless up. fucking point, bro. This is dumb we, as shit. We started. We started talking about. We started talking about wins and, and winning and compounding winning. What that means. And so when I talked about the scheme, and when Allen talked about the scheme. And how the scheme could be used, it was discredited because it was like, well, the scheme nobody doesn't really discredited. matter because you don't have the players. Nobody and what we refer, I, I, where we referenced nobody was discredited that your scheme. We're just talking about. Let me finish. Everything. Let me finish. What we referenced was that scheme was used in AFC title games and in Super okay. Bowls and against quarterbacks much better than Jared Goff. I don't think that could be disputed. Is okay, that, so is that a fact or is that that's, that's, that's a fact. That's a fact. But if Jared Goff does well against that scheme on Thursday. Then, then he that, wins a then he wins a home opener against the defending Super no, Bowl no, no. champions. That, that means he was successful against your scheme, right? We exactly, exactly, exactly. Because he won. I, see, this is what kills me about Twitter, modern society. People want to devalue winning for the sake of pushing their narrative. Why? Winning. How the fuck am I pushing a top Who's five? Devaluing you know, winning. If yeah. you're, <laughs> you guys beat us on Thursday. Hey, I'm coming to y'all spaces. I'm giving y'all props because y'all won. I don't care how many yards y'all put up. I don't care how much uh, Jared Goff throws for if he lose or Mahomes throws for if he lose. If y'all win, you win. I, I I just do not get this mindset. Oh, we have the top five offense. Did I you think win? Here because I think us as Lions fans feel the same. I think we're arguing two different things, said. bro. So we're yeah, gonna no. dis discredit the Eagles. No, no, blue, too? blue, blue, blue. The, I think there's a disconnect because. I think you guys are talking about like the macro, and we're just talking about Thursday. Like we're, we're just talking about this matchup. When you guys are talking about the bigger picture, of course you guys are ahead of us. Of course. But still, this is a LeBron fucking Skip Bayless bullshit comment. Like, oh, LeBron <laughs> lost five times in the fucking final finals. Like, who gives a fuck? He he brought the top five offensive last year. Him and Alternative were having a discussion about it. No, but look. He, I think he's just talking about the top five offense regarding on Thursday. Not not saying that it mattered that we had a top five offense last year for last year, but he's just saying that we have we have a good history of having a good offense. So he's just talking about this matchup on Thursday. I don't think he's trying to devalue the Chiefs winning or anything. Okay, okay, okay. So it sounds, it sounds like it's an apples to oranges argument. So if we yeah. talk about specifically Thursday, let's do that. Let's talk about West Hat, what, what our roster compares to your roster and how that relates to this. Yeah. yeah, look, I already told you about earlier. Take the over on Gibbs and Montgomery. It's piece. Take, take the over there. Uh, anytime touchdown by St. Brown. I mean, like, it, it's going to be a bit of a track meet. It probably starts off rough. I think a lot of games start off rough that first week. Teams are kind of filling things out. The Chiefs will not be resting on offense. Like, they play their starters in the preseason for a reason. Andy has the hardest training camp for a reason. So they will not come out too rusty. Now, I don't know if KT is going to play, but, bruh. I mean, if Kadarius get out there on the field, dog, it's going to, I don't even know, bruh. Thank you for cutting me off, but uh, what's up, Alan? What's up, uh, 
Oh, I, I, see, I hear a lot of stat talking and uh, I just want to remind everybody the Chargers and the Packers once in time had the number one offense and the number one defense but still missed the fucking playoffs so the fact that you got a top five offense that don't mean shit it's about do you win enough games to get to the fucking playoffs do you win enough games to get to the Super Bowl does your team does that translate to but win? You, you could be top you, five. you want to know something you funny about that the comparisons anything. you just made the Chargers didn't make the playoffs because they were already an established team we're talking about a team that's ascending and rebuilding it don't matter that's the difference Number how does it don't don't matter bro it's a different context defense, offense and defense so we're just going to fall just the off back to 32 offensive miss. in the league no, hold on, hold on. I, I get what you're saying, bro. I, and you are technically right. And that's why we did go out and try to improve our defense because we had like one of the worst defenses in the league. So what you are saying does matter. But also on the other hand, like w that was our weakness. And that's why we try to improve that. And now we'll see this year if we can win. That's great. But I just gave you two examples of teams that had number one on both and still missed the fucking playoffs. So you having a top five Offense does not matter when you plan in certain clutch situations. This is about clutch situations and making plays down the stretch. This ain't about putting up numbers and dumb shit. It's about winning the game, dog. Bro, if we didn't have that top five offense, bro, we wouldn't be this confident. Okay. That's great that you got Ex confident, but you still got to know no, how no, to win. No, no, against you guys. Against you, you guys. To, that's cool, but you still have to know how to win. Winners find ways to win. Yeah, what a top five offense. You the numbers you want. Yeah, we found ways to win. We went one and six. Not and enough. Eight games that's, in a row. That's, bro, that's, I mean, if that's not knowing how to win, I, I don't play? know what else Who did is. you play down that stretch? Be, be real. What teams did you play down that stretch? Exactly. No, no, I'll no. We, we, we right beat. Now. No. I'll list we put every up. team for you. Just give me one yep. second. No, I got it, Andrew. Okay. We put up 30 plus points on the Vikings, a 13 and 4 team. We beat the shit out of a Jacksonville Jaguars team that won the division and went to the playoffs. We beat the shit out of the Giants who went to the playoffs. We actually, let's see, there was another one I we forgot. Beat, yeah, so What's up, Andrew? We, we beat Green Bay twice. We beat Sh Chicago twice. We beat the Giants, which again, like Lou said, playoff team. We put 40 up against the Jaguars. And we put 34 you up just against said, Vikings. You said Green Bay and you just said Chicago. So half the teams didn't go to the playoffs. And the other half was ass teams in the playoffs. So the first so, game that they played. So what about the teams the we so what about the teams we put up hella points against playoff oh, teams? Sorry, that the counts. Jags, the Jags beat the Chargers, you're right. But you gotta you gotta be real, dog. Y'all haven't played no one of this caliber yet. Okay, so can so can I take away the the Chiefs win against the Raiders last year? The Chiefs win against the Texans in overtime last year. The Chiefs win against the or Rams, the loss the against, the against the the Titans. Like let me take let me take a pulse. I'm, the NFL. I'm not sitting Real here quick, talking to you about our stats. Pulse check. pulse check. If the Chiefs win by twenty on Thursday, would the Lions fans in here be surprised? If all, if you say it again. You cut out. If the Chiefs win by twenty, would the Lions fans be surprised? No, yeah. because you got 20, Patrick Mahomes by three touchdowns. I would be yeah, I'll be I'll be surprised and disappointed. I mean, not it's saying it's gonna, not saying it's impossible. Yeah, I'm not saying that's gonna happen. I think it's gonna be a closer game than that. But like, I, I do think that there are tiers of teams in this league, and I think you all are ascending, and I think you all are like a couple years away from being where if you got the right quarterback, you could be where the Chiefs are. But the Chiefs are there, and I think that's the difference in these teams. Any given somebody, any given Sunday, anybody can be beat. We all know that. Right? No, bro. We I don't think anybody's discrediting your offense. Like you all have a great offense. You kind of did. No, we didn't. I said, I said, it's, I said it's getting there. It's not there. But I also said we've said this all night. You all weren't in here. That offensive line is one of the best in the league, and, and we are all aware of that. Like I'm gonna tell you right now, I, while we were sitting in here, I was making fan duel bets. I bet Jameer Gibbs over 60, bet Montgomery over 60. Like they're gonna run, they're gonna get running yards. Nobody, nobody, nobody ever. But even not if, who, who said not necessarily? Who said who the fuck? That's why you can't take these guys seriously. Well, I mean, we're we're in different tiers coming into like, one, sure, but coming eighteen, like it can be. Let's not act like the Kansas story. City Chiefs are as like the bona fide most talented team in the league. What the whoa, fuck whoa, are you whoa, talking whoa, about? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? what? We just won the Super Bowl. What the uh, fuck yeah. Are you talking about? And? 
And yeah, it, hey, no, hear him out. Hear him out. I want to hear this point. I want to hear this point. Hear him out. Go, 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 ahead. go ahead, bro. See what you so, so you guys were talking about tiers, right? You're yeah. acting like you guys are three tiers above our team. What? Okay, this is demotated levels of what with this. What is okay. the record? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me get this. Let me get this. Let me get this. Fuck you. you see what I'm, the tier is? That, like, when we look at this game as Chiefs fans, this is our ring ceremony. We're going to be drunk. We're going to enjoy the moment. This is probably the biggest game in, in Lions history. That's how y'all look at it. We don't look at it like that. Y'all just another bump in the road, dude. Like, exactly. That's the You're level disrespecting that we're us. About. This is basically a homecoming game for us, okay? All right. So basically, so basically, okay. you're looking at us like we're the Texans or the Bears or some shit. I'm not saying. Call it, call it, call it, call it, call it bro, you that's just said it's a party game no, for you guys. It is. It's a ring ceremony. It, it, that, that's my fucking point, dumbass. That's what it is, man. Them players I, ain't I fucking fucking think about no damn. I hope the fucking we're trying to win the Super Bowl. We don't got to fuck around with you. Honestly, because we're gonna fucking kick some ass if they're all your entire team thinks they're just gonna come in there drunk and fucking party on on the fucking field. I fucking hope. Man, them players ain't think about no damn ring. They trying to win the game. We're trying to win Super Bowls, man. We ain't got time to be playing with no goddamn Detroit Lions, man. Exactly, exactly my fucking point. They, they'll play with y'all and do this analytical shit, bro. Look, y'all ain't got a shot. Never had a shot. Analytical shit, shit bro. Did you not look at our roster? Oh, uh, you got a better chance of winning the power ball if you think you're gonna come an arrowhead on week one on our ring ceremony and beat us. I don't know, guys. Look, look I, I, I hope the players ain't thinking about no damn ring ceremony. Oh, they they got they should have got that the system at the parade. Now it's time to play some games. The parade was when you celebrate. Yeah. Now you get your hardware, get about, now play the game and win another yeah. ring. That should be all that matters, man. We should not be taking these lines. Li li uh, another factor is you playing an arrow. Good fucking oh, luck. Man. Man, this shit's not about to be a library of some dumb shit. <laughs> you know what this is. You know what the fuck they 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 Why is that a big deal? You guys are not even that loud on defense. We not that loud. Yo, we set the Guinness Book World record for loudest stadium. We see these guys. We look at this. Wallace, Wallace got his uh, lunch up already. Man, we used to get our ass beat for that loudest stadium. So I don't, that don't mean shit to me. Yeah, it don't. Well, it don't mean shit. I got to real aggressive on blue, man. Y'all got to chill, man. First of all, Wallace, man. They're not that good. Them, They're not that good. Y'all can see that. Yeah, that's exactly my point. They're not good. They're not that good. Our secondary is lit. Just don't sleep, son. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 How lit is it? Yeah. I don't see any Pro Bowlers. I don't see any Hall of Famers. No All Pro Bowlers. That's how you know you. Hey, 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 h
uh, next week. And, and, and y'all should be spicy about your team. It just, we got Patrick Mahomes, man. That's literally why we're not spicy in common. Right, right, right. Yeah, y'all spice. Yeah. Bro, spice. bro, if I'm we there. opened up against the Bears, we'd be the same way, bro, because we have great matchups. This need each other. You are going to win a lot of games. Like, nobody's telling you you're not going to win a lot of yeah, games. Yeah, I appreciate you all to this. I appreciate yeah. it. Man. Like, y'all, y'all going to be good this year. Like, I'm telling you, you're going to be decent. Just, just know what you're doing yourself into. Somebody said earlier, like, oh. I'm so ahead, worried yeah. about a Chris Jones, no Chris Jones defense. See, I'm see, so there we go. And then when, we, then when they get their ass kicked, it's, oh, well, y'all got Patrick Mahomes. Nah, nah. nah. Come on, Detroit. Speak for Detroit, man. You need to talk to him. He can't play victim of this trying to enact violence. Come on now. What up, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is another aspect. You really going to put all this fucking eggs in the basket just to Patrick Mahomes and Kelsey? You know how bad, bad uh, construction of football that is. Why do you think Aaron Rodgers only has one fucking ring, bro? You can't just make it every. every you just can't. That's cool. No, 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 no. We all know how ball works, bro. This, if you just put it on two players, that ain't gonna bro, always do it. Was, okay, cool. But this those, is another aspect. All we did aspect. was host five AFC championships. This games. is a whole three, other aspect. Three Super Bowls, win two, and, and, and five. Hey. Okay, but that doesn't guarantee uh, I, I, you're I'm gonna win 100 percent of your games. All we, all we did they was won. rename the playoff. This, 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 this is difference between this is difference between our team. This is the biggest difference between our teams. This is game one, so you're gonna expect to see a lot of penalties. Last year, y'all motherfuckers had 90 points. <laughs> y'all undisciplined as fuck. You don't know what the fuck is going on. You about to be nah, out. we were pretty disciplined. Doing whatever the fuck we want. Yeah, but most of those I'm penalties came you know, at the beginning of the year. They, Your they, team is they, they, there's more down than stretched it. They actually were one of these penalties. Yeah, but you but you're out there doing dumb shit, getting penalties, fucking up the game. You can't get big. Not in our win back. streak. Not when we went eight and two. Mistakes to do with this shit. Gonna make you bet. Yeah, no, you played the you played the cupcake dance. Yo, it, you played it, a bunch of balls. Yo, if you're gonna do team. that, I'm just gonna say the history doesn't matter of your team and Patrick Mahomes, which means this year he's gonna fall off a cliff. What, what, like what that logic? Fall off a cliff, losing the AFC Championship game. No, his fall off is going 10 7 and losing in the wild card. Another dumb thing. <laughs> With, bro, you devalued a top five <laughs> offense. Of course, course I'm going to use your own logic against you. You think the top the five AFC offense Jefferson. automatically means something? Y'all didn't even make the playoffs. Yeah. That should tell you. You guys had a top five offense last year, dumbass. But that should tell you. No, we had the number one offense Thank on you. every metric. Uh, oh, yeah. 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 What does that, that mean? Yeah, yeah, by your guys' Points fucking and yards. Logic. Yes. The number one. Point so it only eight. fucking matters when you win the goddamn Super Bowl. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Did you not? Did you not watch it? What did y'all do? So, 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 that? so you okay, no, 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 no. So that means Aaron Rodgers is fucking on. terrible like, and no. doesn't go to the Hall of Fame because he's always had top five offenses. No, look. He didn't win shit besides the one Why ring. You said he bring the Rodgers. This you talking to the Kansas City Chiefs? Bro, it's called making a ball example. Ain't no example. You can't compare Rodgers to my quarterback. He's better. Having a top five offense ain't My quarterback can re retire right now. He's Thursday. a top three quarterback. So, no, 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 no. This is what I'm saying, bro. Did not did he or did he not have a bunch of top five offenses and get bounced in the first round? Rodgers. got nothing to do with us. We never got bounced out in the first round. Bro. You, but this is not the fucking point. So you're going to, that's what I'm saying, bro. So you're going to devalue Aaron Rodgers hey, because he got man, bounced man. all the time, even though he was a god in the fisk. fucking record. Hey, y'all really realize the like, history of like Andy Reid? Because you, like I just fucking point, stomped your point. That's no, why. That. It's just your team is dog shit. And, and no, I'm it's not. Yeah, I'm not here to fuck shake up, your hand and tell you kumbaya. Your niggas is shitty, okay? You're a good team that's up and coming, but you're nowhere near my team level, okay? That's it. That's all. I'm not finna sit here and play with you guys anymore. Running a tight shift from now on out. Yeah, because you just got yeah, fucking home. I'm running a off. tight shift from now on out, okay, Detroit? Now, when we kick your ass without Chris yeah, Jones, if you want, I don't want to hear yeah, that. Yeah, if you're done with us, then fucking walk just, away, just dumbass. Make sure you don't block me and don't be telling me I'm a troll and all that, because I will be spinning the block. Best Bro, I don't even know who the fuck you are. I don't even know who's fucking talking right now. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. Is hold it on, G? Hold is it fucking Luke? Who the fuck is talking, actually? Hey, A1, A1, uh, hey, what you said may be true. We may be head and shoulders better than those Detroit Lions, but he asked you a good question. I don't even remember what it was because y'all went back and forth so long, but I remember hearing that question and it was a good one. So go ahead and repeat what you just asked them, A1, uh, Blue Silver. What was the question, eh? 
Man, I hope you remembered. But it says something about uh, right before you uh, start talking about Aaron Rodgers. De- devaluing a top five offense, I don't remember, honestly. Like, there was a bunch of shit because apparently nothing matters. No, I, I'm being yeah, honest. Yeah, I, I just want to keep the conversation on, you know, on a, a, a debate type level. So where there's a question asked and you answer it before moving it, moving the goalposts and say some other shit. But yeah, I, mean, I wasn't was moving the goalposts. I was adding examples to show off why if you don't win a Super Bowl with a top five offense, it's not to win waste because that's why i brought up aaron Rodgers. this is everybody wanted to crown him the goat but that guy had top five offenses galore every year year in year out but guess what he didn't win the super bowl a lot he only won once well, well this is what i'll say about that when you look at every metric uh in terms of stats in terms of winning in terms of uh, advanced metric Patrick Mahomes has outpaced Rodgers at every We're not saying that bro that's what I'm saying you guys are flipping it back to Rodgers I'm making a football statement. point about a top 5 let offense finish his statement. Hey, No hey. bro because it's a dumb statement It only really is finish, because though. you're like Fuck what Blue and silver my man you got to relax my man All right no fuck I won't You, you got to relax my man you getting packed up. The reason why I said Nah, bro, you guys are getting packed up because you gotta just gotta fucking mute me. No, no dude, you're not. What up, though? Ellen. <laughs> I what, anybody. I'm barely muting anybody in this space. You muted me you three times in this space. It blew a tear. Right. Ellen is one of the good guys. So if you want to piss them off, and then you piss me off, and it ain't no stopping they one. Okay, I take trolling to a whole nother level. Oh no, hey. I'm so scared of A1. Right? Like the sauce? Yeah, like the sauce, goddamn. Like the sauce? Yeah. yeah man, like what, you got your, what you got on in that picture, man? Your, that's your school uniform, man? What you got on, man? That was funny. Right. That was funny. You was good. Is you good? You've what been you getting mean? aggressive all day, man. You talk about spinning the block, bro. You live in Missouri. You ain't coming up here, bro. You ain't oh, my God. You see, see, this is what kills me now. We're not gonna get into this. See, this is what kills me. This, 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 see, because nine, bro. Like, I, I, see, he bullshit. You started this. I say that because y'all don't understand what KC is, but I don't want to go there. I don't exactly. want. To, um, I'm pretty sure everybody knows who the Kansas City Chiefs are. Actually, bro, I got a question for the line. Wait, are they the Texans? I don't know. What, no, no, that one Super Bowl last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Hey, let me get a score prediction from all the Lions fans. That's all I want. Yeah, that's it. Let's change the subject. How many? How many points y'all gonna score? That's what I need to know. Y'all, y'all. Zero. Thirty. I mean, if you want my score prediction, it's 34, 31. Y'all going home with a L, right? Y'all, y'all no, we're, we're, scoring, we're scoring zero. We couldn't even board the oh, okay. So you put up 30. Sense. That's all. Yeah, because I've got some top five offense. It doesn't matter. Okay, so you are putting up 30, correct? Yeah. Okay, good. Because if you only put up 27, motherfucker, Mahomes is 45 and 1. <laughs> so good luck. I hope you put up over 27. Because you're going to fucking need it. And I. Why are you so aggressive, Why are you so aggressive, bro? bro that's, like, a lot of, that's a lot of shit, bro. Bro, what Coach Reed and Pat is undefeated on week one, bro. Like, literally, have you seen, bro, his stats, he's in, like, 18 and zero for, like, 300, bro. Like, literally, bro. Like, no picks. I thought that was 18 in the past. Tough, no picks. I just wonder how this guy is. Like, what happened? Hey, hey Alan, it's, 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 it's Kadarius Quinn. You're, you're not saying dumb shit. Plan? You're not. But this dude down here, he knows he's saying dumb shit. KT playing? I don't even know, bro. I, I'm, I'm, yeah, Kadarius uh, playing. Well, I'm, I'm saying he's playing. Never mind. I think Blue has some value. Ain't got to respect him as a decoy. So, yep, I'm up in the Andy. 15 points. Yeah, yeah. Kadarius. Say that again. What, Blue, what about Blue? I, I think Blue has some valid points. Y'all just wasn't listening to him. The minute he started talking, nah, y'all was saying he was on some bullshit. Like, yo. He kept talking about the top five offense like it matters. It don't matter. It wait, wait, matter. again, again, it goes back to Damn. this. Okay. How the fuck does a top five offense, not defense, a top five fucking offense in the National Fucking Football League does not matter? How okay. does it not matter? Because you didn't make the playoffs. Bro, y'all are going to get schemed up, bro. Y'all are going to get schemed up This is so This is how it doesn't matter. When we lost last year to the fucking Colts, it wasn't because they had a good fucking offense. It's because Sky Moore dropped some punts. We made some mistakes. 
we had some fucking drop passes. Our our shit was off. It was because of us. It didn't have shit to do with them or having a good offense. That's why I'm saying your fucking top five offense shit means nothing, dog. If that's all you got to hang your hat on, you're done. You're cooked. Uh, Buffalo Bills. I mean, how am I cooked when that offense is the thing in the NFL? Up. The only way y'all winning is if we off our game. You, you said, you said, Wallace, you said uh, Mahomes had a stat. And you said if he's, if he's like y'all, if we score 27 points, he's like 45 and up. If you don't score over 27, he's so, so let me ask points. you this, guys. Do you guys fear the Dolphins more than the Lions? That's a crazy stat, Wallace. For the only team that I do not okay. fear. The only <laughs> if he, don't you guys fear the Dolphins? General, this year? Five and three. We fear when Alex is insane. Yeah, we play. That's crazy. I don't know that one. That's crazy. I don't know that No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Answer my question. Do you guys fear the Dolphins over us? The only team that we have respectful fear for. Somebody answer that question. Okay, that's it. You don't. No, like, do you guys, do you guys fear the Dolphins over us? We don't fear. We don't talk about those. Have no fear. We don't fear neither. No, no, I'm asking a ball question. Not about fear. I'm asking a ball question. Right, so do we respect the Dolphins more than we respect the Lions? We don't even talk about Okay, 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 okay. okay, okay. Right no, no, time out, time out, time out. Why do you respect them? Why do you respect them? Talk about them. The Dolphins made the playoffs. Okay, why? How'd they make the playoffs? Miami and the Dolphins. They made the playoffs. Why are you bringing up the Dolphins, though? Just let, just let me finish. Okay, finish. Why do you guys respect the Dolphins? They were a playoff team last year. Why were they a playoff team last year? They had a great offense. Great. Okay, where were they ranked? It doesn't matter. They were ranked high enough to make the playoffs. You but you respect them with a lower tier offense. Make that make and sense. And man, hey, listen. Plus they have buddy, I don't, here, here's the thing. Hold on, real quick. Let me get this out. Hey, hold on. Nobody is raising banners for fifth rank offenses. It doesn't matter. I'm telling you, nobody cares. Like, no one in 10 years is going to be like, the 2022 Lions team had the fifth rank offense, man. They dope as fuck. <laughs> no well, we're not talking care. about that. We're talking about opponent versus they opponent. Offense, say they be Bill Belichick, and Belichick been whooping our ass for motherfucking years. So, like, look, I get it. Like, you're trying to find something to hang your hat on. And, I, and look, I, we've been there as Chiefs fans. I, I can hang I can hang my hat on more than just the top five offense, well, bro. Wh whatever Are you, you trying got. to hang your hat on that or what's to come in the future? Which one is it? No, no. I got a hell of a GM. I got a hell of a head coach, a good coaching staff, a great roster in the future that can produce think, top five offenses. You think you got a good coach? So, in other words, what's to come? Yeah, I do. Some, uh, Bro, got a this, this is the thing that you guys don't understand the either. That was up. literally the best. That was literally the best Lions team in thirty years. You no cap. With the whole that team. Players, that so. team. No, 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 no. Shut fuck. up. Shut the fuck up and let me finish my goddamn <laughs> statement. <laughs> no. <laughs> about to do a school. No, school. no. Fucking stop. Bro, so you don't Kingdom. gotta do that, bro. Chief Kingdom, we got him. We got him. We no, you got don't him. fucking got him because you know why? The, the 22 Lions are the best team in 30 years of our history, the last 30 years. You know why? <laughs> because even the Stafford teams couldn't beat them. The Stafford teams <laughs> couldn't fucking beat them. Do you hey, not hey, understand? Hey, you, 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 you not fucking understand what I'm saying here? He a nine and eight put up in Lions team could be the Luke Stafford Luke. and Calvin team because they were not built properly. All right, real quick, real quick, hey, real quick, real quick, real quick. <laughs> Look, me, me and Alternative are co-hosts here. Man, try to keep it respectful. Don't tell them to shut the fuck no. up. No, fuck off. No, no keep it, keep it respectful. Man. We, we want it. We want no, to hear what you got to say, up. man. Let's go. No, 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 I, I got him. I got him. Yeah, let him talk. Let him keep saying all this shit. Man, let him take that. That courtesy shit went out the door when he told me a top five offense doesn't matter in natural football. I get him Thursday. I get him Thursday. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. He'll be blocking me Thursday. Oh wow, I'm so scared of you, bro. I'm just gonna ignore you. No, you got some good points, man. You got some good takes, so we wanna hear it. But come on, keep it court. Man, we talk about sports, football, man. It's not our family. Come on, well, don't, don't, don't fucking disrespect me or my fucking team. Who disrespect the family though? Chill though. Talk about the teeth all you bro, want. We don't even know your name. We calling you blue and silver. <laughs> like how we disrespect you. Like what the fuck? Yo, Wallace. We don't even know you like saying schemed beats a fucking top three O line. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs>
All right, take a deep breath, hey. man. Let's let's get back to sports talk. Let me ask you something, bro. You need help. help. Go, so get like, your, go get your fan base. Go get them. Bring them over here. Please. Yo, yo, I'm listen. Here. I'm right here. You all want the fucking smoke? Now you don't want the smoke. <laughs> Hey, we're smoking so it's all good. It's whatever. I told you the magic number is 27. <laughs> Yo, if you don't, like, if you don't read it, he's got a whole eye for this one game, bro. He's got a whole eye for this game. You don't think he's going to out scheme the fuck out of Dan Campbell, bro? I, I told him that's what a game would be won. Spags? Won Spags? What the fuck is he going to do? What do you mean? A fucking win, four win time Super Bowl? Like Super Bowl normally do with no Chris Jones, bro? Are you kidding me? Okay. Are you kidding me he, with no Chris Jones? He, he, he won with the Wallace, Giants. And then after the Chris game, Jones. it's going to be, well, y'all was supposed to win. Y'all got Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid. That's how they do. Why would I say That's that? That's what they going to do. I keep it ball. Bro, bro, it's gonna I'll take the, the L when I take the Dan, L. Dan Campbell, bro. Like, Dan Campbell's not going to know what they're doing. How? No, 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 no. Tell me how. Tell me hey, fucking Alan, how he's going to scam the fuck out of it. Is it Kansas City, Kansas, or is it Kansas City, Missouri? You'll find, that on Thursday. You'll find that on Thursday. You'll find that on Thursday. You'll find that. Yeah, I, I just want to know. Oh, I'm wow. I'm so afraid, I'm so afraid of a seventh round rookie Kansas blitzing off the side and getting stonewalled by Farby Penny like Sewell. Is, is that what your scheme is? Is that what your fucking scheme is? Sidewalks. Man, Detroit to take your whole time. Maybe Josh on, Allen got playing with good me, boy. Just like, I ain't hey. blew it over. Stop playing with me. I the whole top on, boy. Josh, you got something good to add to this? Blue, blue from Texas. Okay, go ahead, Josh Allen. Go ahead. You got, you got the blue. Go ahead. Okay, Josh Allen. Go ahead, 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 Josh Allen. Go ahead,
I think and the next time up with Luke, if he if he's still don't tell me to raise his hand to speak, he can go. If not, go ahead. Um, him. yeah. Um, Josh uh, Allen said the real uh, shit. The Bills, so Bills fan, Josh you. Allen. Um, he he actually really kind of said everything I was gonna say. Actually, in a really good way. I was gonna add to it. That just like, bro, it's just like this off season. Like they prepare for that week one game. You know what I'm saying? Like this is a. Um, just like every other team. Huh? Just like every other team, bro. I'm, it is not. But it's not. Andy, bro, right Ed, after the Super you just Bowl. said a cliche line. We prepared for week no, one. I, Andy, we prepared I mean, for week yes, one. Bro. Cliche bro. line, but bro, like when they come out like early in the season and like the first month, bro, like they are another level. Like, <laughs> Lou, you know what I mean? Lou, like as Lou, teams Lou, adjust Lou. to them, it, you know, it kind of comes up and down. But that first month of the season, Yo, that, finish, bro, that fucking finish. offense is like rolling bro like they're rolling because they're not ready like the other teams are not ready for that offense yet you know what i'm saying so it's like i really just it's hard for me to believe as great as i think the lions are that they're going to come into arrowhead on banner night and beat them after they prepared for them bro i just don't see it happening i just don't it's one thing to say me saying that we're going to win but the fact that you guys are acting like you got this is banner night it's going to be a party night and we're not going to give a fight no, I don't think like y'all are gonna give a fight. I think y'all have a serious, serious team, bro. Like y'all have a serious fucking team. I watched what y'all did to Green Bay last year. Like I was rooting for y'all in that game. You know what I'm saying? But I just, yeah, I, but just but, is it okay if I ask? Can I ask Blue? Can I ask Blue a question to try to get a gauge of what? Yeah, yeah. Cause I, Blue, like where, where would you rank this iteration of the Chiefs team? I, Cause I want to kind of get an idea of like what you're, what you think of the Chiefs. Like, like, like overall in the league right now, like, 32 overall or something like that no like this the, these this recent history with patrick mahomes and oh 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 yeah 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 i see what you're saying this chiefs team in the last five years i would say it's a dynasty let's see no no hold on hold on let me let's see 2018 was pretty good 2019 that was your super bowl year but not as good as 18. We won it. What are you 2020 about? was no, bro, I'm just saying. I'm let me come. Let me finish. I just right. want. I want to get a gauge on what he's doing. What are you talking about? I said you guys won in 2019, but it wasn't as good as the 2018. Like Mahomes was more explosive in 18 than he was 19. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to give you guys respect here. Fuck. Um, 2020, another great year. 21, I would say. Honestly, this is probably your third or fourth best team in the last five years. Here's what I'm gonna say. Okay, but blue, 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 where would you, where would you? In the Mahomes era, dead ass. This is our deep team. Blue, from top to, from top to where, bottom. Oh, from, from a talent perspective, it, it's on the lower end because I mean it's a bunch of young guys. Again, like you don't have Chris Jones back yet, so you're on, depending blue, a lot blue. on Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey. A top bro, five goal line bro, and not like not a, a lot of casual take, bro. I'm just how is that blue, a casual blue. take? No, blue. Listen, listen, blue. Listen, I, I, I want like when you when I asked you about like what do you think of this iteration of the Chiefs? Like, do you think they're like the '70s Steelers? Do you, is there a basketball reference? Do you think they're like the Red Wings in the early 2000s? Like, what's the, what do you think of this Chiefs team? No, they're they're fucking good. I'm not not gonna never say they're not good. I just. Honestly, I, I think they're the next dynasty. I'm I'm definitely thinking that. But again, I don't have a, a direct comparison, honestly. Do you think they're do you think this iteration with Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid is, is better than Brady? Any of the Brady teams? No, uh like any singular Brady teams, is that what you're saying? Yeah, any 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 of the era of the Brady teams. Do you think they're better? Because I'm gonna follow up after you answer this. It's tough. I would can say, I, I, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I'm, a, I'm, listen. I want you to listen to this. I'm a Bills fan, and if I could wave a magic wand, right, and I, I had magic pixie dust, I would, I would switch Josh Allen in the Manning Brady era right now, right now. That's how much I think of Patrick Holmes and the Chiefs. Yeah, no, no, I'm not. Disrespect them and saying they're not so a good team. Peyton Manning, let alone on, a, a non dynasty team. Tom, Tom Brady and Peyton Manning are considered all time, all time, all time greats. They, 
they couldn't even wipe Patrick Mahomes' ass, bro. That's that's the difference. That's for real, bro. He don't understand that. No, I, I understand like, that. I understand he that. He don't watch this, bro. He don't watch this and understand what we talk to. Him. Yes, I do, bro. <laughs> but bro, like, I, bro, like I'm telling you, bro. I tried. The Bills, the Bills fan tried. You guys, I can't help you. Okay? Yeah. What, what are you talking about? Look, look, I understand. You, bro, you squad, bro. Our, bro, bro you, what you guys did last year was pretty damn special, concerning what you guys had a quarterback and not the best roster to win a Super Bowl. That's pretty damn impressive. I mean, I'm comfortable. I'm from that way. I'm comfortable. This is like being with my cousins. So this is this is normal to me. I feel I feel I feel this is a hospitable environment. Hospitable sure, sure, environment. Sure. Yes, sir. We're gonna keep it raw and uncut. We like this. Yeah, shit. but I, I do shit. agree that it's another level, like for real. Like y'all chasing a dynasty. We're chasing the playoffs. But when I say that, I sound like a sellout. You know, you know, any type of way. But what I'm saying is like what Blue's saying is like any given Sunday type shit, right? He's saying any given Sunday. You right, feel me? Right. Just like the coach, just like yeah. brothers mentioned the coach last year. Like, we wasn't on our game. That's all he was talking about. Like he took it, he was trying to get it across to y'all. Y'all don't believe in no idealism. When you hit a Super Bowl and shit, there is no more idealism. There's this is the standard AFC championship last five years, three Super Bowl. Three Super Bowl. We went to three Super Bowls. One, two. There is no like idealistic views no more. So y'all like like moving like the new Patriots or like the Seattle Seahawks of old, like 2012 and that era where it was an expectation to be at this level. And anybody talking to you was like full of shit. So I understand your aggression. No, no, no. Right. I, I, think I think that's part of the team. It's a higher, it's a higher he's level than that. Given Sunday thing. And he's also, uh, I also want to ask him though, what is the difference between this year's team and last year's team to make him form that opinion? What you about, well, you don't have Chris Jones. Okay, that's what I thought. That's why I want to. That's what I was getting. At. Yeah, I think the, the any given Sunday thing is cool, and you know, it's like cool, it's like idealistic. You feel me? Um, but. <laughs> <laughs> like me and my wife was just laughing like shit <laughs> cause my wife was Look, like, dog. She was like you know them niggas gonna lose I'm just listening <laughs> I'm just listening like this, like, like when you bring up Chris Jones you keep this in mind just remember this the year the first year we won the Super Bowl he had zero sacks in the playoffs this last year we won the Super Bowl he had two sacks in the playoffs and didn't do shit in the Super Bowl itself. So just keep that in mind when you bring up Chris Jones every time as a I, point I just, that you're trying to make. That like is your third best player on this roster. Okay, but hey, keep Blue. That in mind hey, Blue. When you're trying to make that point. That's let me try to talk. Let me try. Let me try to. Let me try to talk to Blue again. Um, do you ever play uh, chess, Blue? Because I've given this analogy to other people. Have you ever played chess before? A few times, yes. Yes. So you're for, okay. I I love to play chess a lot. There was a a prodigy named Bobby Fisher um, in the in the in the eighties. Name he was an incredible. I know, incredible. I, know, I, know, I know what you're about to say. He overwhelmed him, and he didn't have the best man, like no, and all that. No, let me finish, man. Bobby Fisher was such a genius at chess. I call Patrick Mahomes the, the Bobby Fisher of football. He's a genius of playing quarterback. And one of the number one rules anyone that's familiar with chess is you know you don't give up your queen. You don't bring out your queen early. Bobby Fisher was such a genius of chess, he would break all the rules. So when you think, when you say things like, oh, they're missing Chris Jones, the normal rules don't apply to Mahomes. The Bills playoff game versus the Chiefs, that epic playoff game, the greatest playoff game I've ever seen. They pressured Mahomes, I think, at almost a, a 25, 24% rate. It didn't matter, dude. None of it mattered. So I'm just saying, I understand the personal matchup. It's I think it I think it will be because it's an opener and weird things to happen opening day and Chris Jones is out. Those things I'm not saying they don't matter. I'm just saying, dude, you're talking up, you're talk, you're you're going up against the greatest quarterback that's ever lived. It's not close, dude. I, I, I'm 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 very aware of that. I mean, I understand the reference and what you tried to tell me. I understand what I'm going up against. I I, I don't I. I just like it's not like they're gonna hundred percent every blue, single blue. blue when you say oh but we, you know chris jones that means you don't know dude 
So you basically Josh, think no Chris you, Jones. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Set, set Josh, since you are a Bills fan, I could say the same thing about your Bills with Von Miller. Damn. You guys lost Von Miller, you get guys who are a different team. That's not the same thing. No, hold on, hold on. Blue, I'm a Bills fan, right? And we lost Von Miller. I'm also almost 40 years old and I'm a realist. All things being equal, even if we had Von Miller, if money was on the table, I'm picking Patrick Mahomes, dude. Like, Bro, come on. About, I'm talk I'm not, but again, you guys are missing the point. No, you were basically about to compare Josh to Patrick in a way saying oh, we did not pair quarterbacks no, bro there's a level difference between Josh and Patrick you can't put that you can't use that same that's like Josh same Allen thing, blue, blue. Josh Allen is like I, I can compare him to Elway or Ben Roethlisberger I think he's a great quarterback he's not Patrick Mahomes dude Bills fans getting their feelings about this but you guys are acting like I don't know who P Patrick Mahomes is I said he's the next go arguably so Chris nah, Jones I, 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 should go ahead. No, nah, nah, I, I want to be clear, Blue and Silver. Like, there's nothing wrong with you believing in your team. And I'm I'm happy. Like, I, I love seeing Lions fans on spaces um, like Yuji uh, and other Chiefs fans, Alternative, NXB, uh, A1, Wallace. All of us want to see your team do well because we understand how downtrodden your team has been basically all my life. <laughs> You know, uh, you're doing the thing again, man. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it, man. I'm just being real. But, I, but no, but we want to. Why wanna don't see. you say the same thing about the Bills then? Because they're in the no. AFC. That would affect us directly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, NFC, yeah. I would love to see y'all do well. It's not a big, it's not that big <laughs> hard yeah. to figure out, bro. Bro, he packed you out. But look, I, I want to see the Jim, Detroit Lions win, man. And, 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 and you, you, you up tonight. And you usually would tell you, usually would no, tell you that me and him. Up here. That's overkill. Leave Yuji where he at. No. Yeah, yeah. But he would tell you that me and Yuji have been in these spaces. We have defended Jared Goff to these other fan bases. So it ain't like we just hating on your team. I want to make no, that Yuji, clear to you and the spirit Yuji of Detroit. Picked them. Yuji picked the kids. I think that's he started this this shit. Yuji got got Detroit. Then we're going to the Super Bowl. Yeah, it went left. To be quite honest with you, you guys but, actually disrespect us yeah, instead of top. What's five. the percentage? Again. Like, what do you think? Like, what's your feel? Like, what do you think the score is going to be? What's your percentage on on the Lions win? Forty percent. Forty percent. Okay. You guys are you guys are completely missing the point. Do I personally think they can they can win? Yeah. In reality, I wouldn't. I literally wouldn't be shocked if we lost. Literally wouldn't be shocked. This is what I'm talking about. You guys are not understanding blue. where I'm coming from and missing you the think point. No, that's blue. fair. That's fair. What he said is fair. Do you think there's a chance the Lions could get blown out, Blue? <laughs> God damn, no. Just you don't think there's... Think blue, you don't think there's... Hold on, hold on. Blue, you don't think there's any chance that Mahomes puts a 50-burger up? Uh, nah, nah, don't do that, Blue. Nah, 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 nah. down that hill. I done seen a lot of people... I done seen a lot of people like you, dude, in, in this run and... This, this shit don't end well, bro. I'm telling you, you know how many people. Bro, if this game goes like the Deshaun Watson playoff game where y'all get out I, 21 I said that's crazy, the crazy shit, I wouldn't be surprised, bro. And then you're going to get but around. But I will be get I would but not, we're not be gonna surprised. Be that. No to and then we just get out on you. Really Yo, this is a recorded space. Oh, my bad. This is a recorded space. I'm telling space. you, they're going to go just, up 17 Just keep that in mind. They're going to be feeling good. Blue and Silver going to be trolling me. And then... Know what happens? Nah, I don't hits. troll in game. That, I don't tempt that fate. tsunami hits. Oh, you ain't got to tempt it. <laughs> tsunami. <laughs> that tsunami. Yeah. Blue. Hey, hey, blue. Let me. Like, let me. Let me. Let me. Uh. Touchdown at the touchdown. At first the of all, no first field. of all, I've known blue for years. Touchdown. Blue ain't even like that. He just like all he do is talk the game. That's it. Like he just talked the game. He was just making points. It takes a special fucking dumbass argument to get me that pissed. <laughs> Well, we respect. We respect. So you were, so you were mad because we say that a top five offense doesn't matter. That, that's why yep. Because okay, it's well, a dumb if, football. If you had, no, if you had a top five defense, that would give you more validity in this situation. I would, I would be like, okay, but you got a top. You not about to outscore this man, dog. <laughs> like it's not happening. 
I actually think the Lions defense will be better this year. I just I, against Mahomes, it just doesn't. It's like it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Hey, hey, Josh. Yeah. Josh. What's the scouting report? Why play this game then, Josh? I don't know. I've been what? asking. I've been wanting to ask y'all guys that anyway. Why? No, because uh, I just feel like honestly, bro. Like, like for real, when we put everything together, like honestly, bro, it's like the Lions' introduction to the competitive space. That's all it is, bro. The way they wrote this whole thing, like the whole like schedule, bro. Like we're prime time. We had no prime time games except for one last year. The way they wrote this whole schedule is we almost like going up into that upper echelon. We've been from bottom twelve to at least top twelve. That's all this is, bro. Every every you, you this, is into like, the this is like a playoff. It's a playoff like era for us. Feel me? That's yeah, all it is. Just like the Browns, bro. Like a couple years back, it was the Browns and it was the Bills and it was all these teams from the bottom creaming up to the top getting up to the top it's just our time now you feel me so like that's all this really is bro so if we can compete with that team that'll sell the market value that'll put the bookies on there's a whole lot of shit that go into that money like it's not about just the game it's about oh detroit prime time okay and then you get them some real like competition and they do well and now we got the bookies now you got the gambling now you got the whoop, whoop, whoop. Now you got, you know, they're going to boost up the top five offense all the way. But how does the team go from no primetime games to fucking eight? No, no. Six. Come on now, bro. There's some more money to yeah, it, bro. Blue is over left, but... but uh, okay. He don't like when I talk good. like that. Because I, talk, I talk about the money game. It's a money game, bro. Like, the script is for us now. What's the uh, scouting report on y'all? Like, like, oh, man, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. It's just.